We are live out here at Home Depot, okay. continuing our talk all about New Year's resolutions. Yesterday, we were talking about kind of a building project and gyms expanding. Tomorrow, we'll be trying something new, but I've been talking about it all week, about how I need to get a little green thumb for New Year's, or just keep a plant alive. That's my New Year's resolutions. So we're talking gardening, mm. maybe a skill that you all are interested in picking up. Flo Renault is here with me, and uh, she's going to be the one to give me the green thumb. Well, we're going to try to get you so you don't kill every plant you come anywhere near. As a matter of fact, if you're that bad, I don't know how close I want you standing next to some of these. I won't, I won't touch them. Don't I touch promise. any of them. <laughs> well, we talked a little bit earlier. You had mentioned that uh, you were thinking that you might even want to get a cactus. Right. Because they were easier. Actually, they're not. Oh. If you overwater a cactus, they can get mushy. They can get just gooey and yucky, and they okay. actually can start to smell. It's a lot easier to kill a cactus. Okay. okay? What's very easy to grow, and I've got some others that we can talk about okay. here. For maybe the more advanced yes. gardeners. <laughs> well, actually, these aren't bad, but I told you that one something an that's orchid. very easy to grow is an orchid. Which this surprises me so much, mm -hmm. because I remember when I came to pick out that beautiful fern plant mm -hmm. thing, don't really know the proper names, I thought I was going to get an orchid. They're gorgeous, uh -huh. but I thought they would be very hard to grow. They're actually very, very easy to grow. A lot of people call them ice cube plants hmm. because the easiest way to, uh, to water an orchid is just put an ice cube or two in there. Now, depending wow. on the kind that you want, okay. uh, they call this a moth orchid or a They're phalaenopsis. Beautiful. Oh, they come in all different kind of colors. These are all in the phalaenopsis family, okay. so they are all very, you know, just different colors, and they all look like. Mm -hmm. And I want everybody to notice that you did dress I match. appropriately. We did plan that. We got together last night. Like I said, no, we didn't. You, can just, <laughs> you can put an ice cube in them and just do that every few days. Now, different orchids like different moisture levels and okay. that sort of thing. How do you know whether it's an orchid, whether it's a plant like this, how do you know how much to, to water it, how to take care of it, what type of sunlight it needs? Well, the easiest thing to do is there's a real easy guideline that okay. you can follow as soon as you walk into a Home Depot store. Okay. If we have the plants inside, they belong inside. Makes sense. Okay. The plants that we keep outside, uh, you know, our outdoor yard plants, mm -hmm. you're going to find those outside now in this weather. Okay. Those are fine to have outside. Also, we cheat. <laughs> we have these little tags on everything. Some I like of them, that. if you have a smartphone, you can scan this Ooh. barcode and it'll tell you everything about it. Something else so that you nice. can, uh, Yeah, isn't that cool? You can also just look at the tag and they'll tell you everything. This will tell you that on this particular orchid it needs bright filtered light, which means don't put it in direct sun or you're going to fry it. Okay. Okay. Tell you how tall it'll get. It'll tell you how to fertilize it. It'll tell you what kind of uh, climate it takes. Like this likes between 59 and 79 degrees. Okay. It can actually go a little bit chillier at night, but it can't stay outside. Sounds good. But almost every plant that you're going to find in the store has one of these care tags. Wonderful. Then, and this is a great lead-in, on our website, go to homedepot.com, okay. scroll all the way down to the bottom, and please, Mel, please, and I'll sign you up. Join the Garden Club. <laughs> all right, we're going to be talking more about the Garden Club. We've got so many plants to talk about, and of course, how to take care of them. It's all coming up live here on Good Day. First, Kelly, back on over to you. Welcome back to Home Depot, learning all sorts of things yep. on how to have a green thumb. Now, Flo, okay. you were talking about this gardening yep. club. Okay. I think it's a club I need to join if they'll let me. <laughs> and it's real easy to join. The cool thing, you know what you need? There's one criteria to join the garden club. Uh-oh. You need an email. I got that. That's all you need. I've and got it's two real, emails. <laughs> uh, there you go. You can join it twice. <laughs> it's real easy. Go to homedepot.com, scroll all the way down the bottom. Okay. Click on garden club. Now, the really cool thing is it's free to join. Okay. And if you took advantage of all the coupons, all the exclusive offers that only Garden Club members would get, nice. you save about $300 a year. Now, I just got my email yesterday. We talked about orchids earlier. Yes. Buy one, get one free. Oh. And that's only for Garden Club members. Wow. Now, it has a couple other benefits. So if I kill one, I still have another one to keep my that's right. resolution. That's right. <laughs> there is the gardening forum okay. where it's Ask the S Experts. You can put in a question, and the forum will come back, and you can, you can have a live discussion. You go Great. into live chat. Or you get an answer from a qualified expert within about 24 hours. It's really cool. You can use it to track your plants. There's all kinds of DIYs on it. Uh, everything from your outside garden to mm -hmm. inside garden and how to care for all these plants. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, now, Flo, I'm yep. quite the novice when it okay. comes to gardening. Okay. But is the garden club available for you know, master gardeners as well? Absolutely. There's three different levels. There's beginner, intermediate, okay. and expert. And it will ask you uh, what your interest. Is it outside gardening? Oh, is it house fun. plants? Is it exotics? Is it, do you want to build, uh, you want to build a koi pond? 
And actually, they have a new one on there that somebody just did, which is near and dear to my heart, because you know how I am about dogs. Oh, yeah. It's how to build this really cool dog house with a ladder, and it's got a deck. And Fun. So I might be building that for the dogs. Okay, well, well we got to get past yep. the plants for yes. me first. So okay. not just water that these plants no, no. need. It's very important. You have to start with the right kind of pot. Now, I've, okay. I've got... A couple different kinds of pot here. Pots here. These have a built-in plate in the bottom. This is cool. Aren't these pretty? This has got the drainage hole in the bottom. Okay. okay? And the the uh, plate on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about the water leaking out. Okay. And that way, when you water it, when you start seeing a little bit of water Stop coming watering. through here, because that's what you probably did with that plant. You probably overwatered it. If somebody sees the plant doesn't look look too good, first thing we do is oh, we either throw fertilizer, which uh -huh. is going to burn it. Okay. If, if you over-fertilize it. I never got to the fertilizer part. Okay. <laughs> or we overwater it because, oh, we need to save its life. And, right. And usually that's when your leaves start turning yellow. Occasionally it's some lack of light, but that's not usually what it is. Mm. Usually we overwater them. Okay. Now, this is another kind of pot. This has a solid bottom. So something like this, you put drainage stones in it. Okay. okay. One of so the you other don't things. just pile this with dirt? Don't just pile it with dirt. Put some rocks down at the bottom to give that water some place to settle. It kind of acts like uh, the old French drains. Okay? okay. The other thing that you want to get is you want to get something. This is made by miracle Grow. This is moisture control potting soil. So and you can't is, just dig up some dirt from the backyard? I wouldn't do that. Okay. I wouldn't do that. Uh, depending on what you're planting, you might be able to add a little bit of a clay mixture in it. Okay. But I wouldn't recommend it. Now, this is made... Miracle Grow, they called me. They let me know they made this just for you. I like Protects the Protects against that. over and under watering. Love it. It will absorb water, it'll hold water, and it'll disperse the water in the right increments, provided you don't just pour gallons and gallons of water in your enclosed root rock. All right. So that's very important. Some great stuff. Definitely sounds like a miracle. We're going to be talking about some special yep. food and maybe get into that fertilizer yep. that Flo was talking about. It's all coming up later here on mm -hmm. Good Day. First, back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, That's right, right. We are live here at Home Depot, Chris. We are learning all about yep. gardening. Gardening. Flo Renault is here with us right. at Home Depot this morning. Flo, we just talked about this miracle in a bag. Yes. That's what yes. I'm going to call it. Moisture control potting soil. Overwatering, yes. underwatering. Yep. It all takes care of It'll it. save you. Okay, It'll now, save you. Flo, we were talking earlier about how you want to put rocks in the mm -hmm. bottom of some of these pots that right. don't have, I guess, the drain. They don't have the drain. Do you want to use that with the moisture control soil? Absolutely. Absolutely. Never okay. hurts to have it. And you held this up a few minutes ago. This mm -hmm. is Miracle Grow Liquid Houseplant Food. It is for, it's kind of a generic one. Okay. You can uh, put 20 to 30 drops in, I believe it's a quart of water, and use it every time you water, or you can do it. Okay. Nifty little instructions on the back. I was going to say, say, I Real don't. Easy. I have one plant. Can't, right. can't go to an entire house of plants yet. So I'm just using like a cup of water to okay. water the plant. Well, in that case, what well, I recommend, a drops. I wouldn't even use this particular okay. product. I'd use another miracle Grow product. It's those little sticks. Okay. It's those little sticks, and all you do is you put one right in the soil, and it's time release, and oh. it's activated, and you don't have to worry about it. You put that one little plant stick in there, and you're you. good. Love now, it. I've got a couple plants for you that even mm -hmm. you can't kill, all right? Well, I think. We'll I'm see about that. I'm hoping. <laughs> this is very commonly known. This is a philodendron, also okay. known as a pothos. The, this is about the easiest thing in the world. I've grown it in offices under fluorescent lights. Oh, wow. These are the ones you see, the long, long, long vines. Uh -huh. This is this a is rubber plant. Okay. This Sounds is a, pretty indestructible. Yes. It is very indestructible. <laughs> okay. Now, this one happens to be a little bit dusty, but one of the really cool things about this is it makes a great household plant. Sure. It's very, very easy to grow. You can put it in a pot, but I will tell you this. I'm originally from, well, I'm originally from Jersey, but I lived in Florida for 20 years. Don't plant them in the ground. Okay, stick they to will, plants. They will stick come and get your house. The root systems Ooh. on these are extremely invasive. They're like a ficus plant, which is another great household plant, another great plant okay. to put Not in a pot. Not outdoors. Don't plant it in the ground unless you're going to plant it a good half a mile <laughs> from your house because the root systems are extremely invasive. Wow. Another thing that a lot of people don't know is, you know, these leaves, you want to make them shiny and pretty. Right. You can buy a commercial spray. However, old wives trick, a little bit of mayonnaise on a paper towel will shine them up. Or some people use milk. And what? you can use that to shine up the leaves. Little That's another that very easy. Yeah, right. another very easy. Plant. Now, before we get to talk about these rest of the plants, uh -huh. I want to talk about how to put them in the pot. Okay. Because the plants do come in these little plastic yeah. pots, yeah. which you want you want to dress it up a little Probably. bit. Uh, but you stuck one in here. Do we want to add the the moisture? Excuse me, the moisture control potting mix, 
and take it out of this plastic? You want to take it out of that. Now, if you're using this pot, like I showed okay. you before, this one has no drainage So in we it. want to put the rocks. Put some rocks in it. You can go outside and you can get some gravel from outside. You can get some uh, white marble chips. Mm -hmm. Or you can get pea stone, which is a little gravel. You can put something in there. Okay. Just to give the water some place to settle. For a pot like this, are we talking two inches? Uh, yeah, about that. Okay. About that. Now, what you would do is you would take this out of the pot. Okay. Let's see if I can do this and not make too much of a mess. <laughs> Uh, what I'm losing is vermiculite, which is a fertilizer. This okay. one's kind of root bound, so I don't want to. All right. Well, we can leave that in yeah, there. Yeah, let's now. leave that in there. Well, we'll figure out more about plants oh, there we and go. gardening. There we go. Oh, there she's got it. Okay, so there we're just go. going to stick it right in there. We put it right in there on top of the rocks with a little bit of soil on top of it. Okay. On top of the rocks first. Put this on there. Put soil all the way around it, and you're good to go. Bring it up to about pot level. And you're set to go. All right, guys, I'm learning so much. I think I'm going to be successful in this 2013 <laughs> New Year's resolution. We've got one more segment out here live at Home Depot. Kelly, now on over to you. And welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We are live here at Home Depot. They have a whole array. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, it looks like we're in a forest here. For I planned it. I planned it. Like I said, don't get too close to them. There you go. There you go. But before we get to the potted plant, I want to talk about some of these others because mm -hmm. you all have so many different types of plants. Right. These, and these are inside, so they are indoor. Right. And they are considered what we call them tropicals. Okay. Okay. They are primarily indoors. Uh, we've got a couple of different varieties. Believe it or not, all three of these are in the Dracenia family. Okay, this okay. one looks like the one. They're not going to touch it because it looks like yeah, the late one. Uh, it's because it's still alive, so keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, they also call that a marginata, but they're all in the Dracenia family. These three here. They're this beautiful. This one is very, very common. This How is cute. known as a snake plant. Does it grow a lot? It is so prolific. Okay. It is so, so prolific. You can plant these. You can take a pot like this. You can take one of these big ones. Mm -hmm. And you can break those all apart and plant them along the fence oh, line. Oh, pretty. And you come back about 20 minutes, and they'll have doubled. <laughs> and the other very common name for these, you know what these are called? Because they're very long and they're very sharp. They're called mother-in-law tongues. Oh. I love my mother-in-law. I didn't mean that. <laughs> all right, and on that note, on that note, we are going to start potting our plant okay. flow. So we've got our rocks here in the right. bottom. Just, just some normal Yeah, this is just rocks. some white pebbles that I went okay. outside and I picked up off the ground. Okay. Now, there's something special about this pot. This pot is not glazed inside, so when moisture goes in this, the pot will absorb a little bit of it. Huh. Okay? okay? So we have this. We're little gonna, potting soil? Little potting soil, your, your special miracle grow. And this is the moisture control. This is the moisture grow, control. Correct? So you want to dig your hands on in yeah. there? Yeah. And put Alrighty. some down in there. Do I want to just cover the rocks yep, here? Yep, cover the rocks a little bit. A okay. little bit more? Put a little bit more in there. Okay. Okay. Now you've got a little base on them. Now we already... That's not very much on top of no, the... No, no, no. It was about two handfuls? Yeah, that's all about. Okay. Now what I did was when we went to get this out, I squeezed a little bit to loosen it up. Okay. And then I turned it over. And you can see that this is very, very root bound. Oh, man, look at all of them. Yeah, this is very, very root bound. Okay. Like I said, this is a philodendron. They grow really, really nice. And we're just going to okay. put that on top, all right? And then we're okay. going to take handfuls of this, and we're going to put it around it on the sides. And okay. hopefully not make too much of a well, mess. Well, I'm not. I, no, I'll get the cleaning guy to come. <laughs> cleaning guy will come clean that up for me. Got to make sure he stays busy today. Yes. And okay. we'll fill that up. And now as soon as you pot this plant, how quickly do we want to water it? Put some moisture in there. Right okay. away. Don't drown it, but put some moisture in there. Actually, we could have put a little bit of water in on top of the soil that we first okay. put in there. Now, we're not being real careful here. Actually, what you want to do is you want to bring this plant to about pot level, and you don't really want to put it on top of it too much. Okay. Okay? We just want to put it on the sides. That was my fault. Sorry. And now there's this green stuff on top of the plant before we put it into the, yeah. the pot. What that's was kinda, that? That's a, a fertilizer vermiculite mixture that comes in it. That okay. comes with the uh, from the uh, grower. Okay. It's kind of kind of like a traveling fertilizer. It's got Sounds a little bit good. in there. I'm gonna lift these leaves up. Yep. I'm gonna lift that up. And we'll put that in there. Now we put a little bit of water in there. Okay. All right. Now this this miracle grow. Okay. This will also feed your plants for up to six months. It's got. Miracle Grow release in it. So okay. you don't even need to buy a separate fertilizer. Once you've got the Miracle Grow. And in about six months, just switch out the soil? No, no, don't switch anything okay. out. Then you can start feeding it separately. Gotcha. Now, the only other thing that this is missing is here is the care tag because 
Got to take care of it. I'm giving this to you. Oh, Flo. And I expect you to report back to me. <laughs> now I've got it. It's a gift. I got to right. keep it alive. That's right. Low light. Okay. Low light. Climate 60 to 90 degrees so you can keep it in your office. Care says easy. My kind of plan. All I right, well, faith. Flo, I got to keep this one alive now. Yep. It's been a gift. It's my challenge to myself for 2013. It's all happening live on TV, so you guys have seen it. We have been live here at Home Depot. Flo, thank you so much for You're teaching welcome. me. Hope I can keep my New Year's resolution. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs>